How's it going, guys? Um, it's Eta back with another video. It's good water. Um, just sitting here. Uh, the house is done. I don't know if I showed that in the other one, but I'm just fixing this. Um, yeah. I'm gonna show you something cool in a second that I've been working on for a while. Thought of a new idea for a blaze spawner. I mean, not a blaze spawner, an Enderman farm. It's pretty much the blaze spawner, but in the end, and you can keep adding like these continuous loops to it as it goes up. So, yeah. I don't know if that's actually, I just thought of this idea when I was uh, out today. Yep, thinking of Minecraft while I'm out. Um, I don't know if I'm actually gonna build an Enderman. Maybe later in this Let's Play I will, but right now it's not a concern of mine because I'm going to have to go through the nether, fill up all the water, fill it up with water, and that takes like an hour, so not feeling it. Um, yeah, I like that better than how it was before. Looks nicer put a workbench there too. Yeah, I want dirt there. It looks good. Hope you guys like this uh, stone build. It's pretty... Uh, I like it a lot. Looks good, I think. Super industrial. I really like that piston door I made over there. Looks nice. Oh yeah. Um as of now, it's like the fifteenth. Uh you could be expecting 4J Studios to be up updating this game sometime um this week or next week, hopefully. Like hopefully it goes into cert testing this week is what I'm thinking. Cause like they've been working on this update for like twice as long as any other update. I mean, unless it's gonna take that long, that that really suck. Hopefully it's out by the la before the last week of this month starts. Oh yeah, I started making a mob spawner down here. Seems we have a slime chunk in here as well. And to deal with that, I'll just build a slime spawner uh, below. Okay, so the goal for in here. Is uh, the main reason why I'm making this is because I really need string right now. So I'm gonna make this. I wasn't gonna make it supporting spiders, but it is supporting spiders. So let's do that. I don't want anything spawning there. I want the room to be completely smooth stone. I think that'll look good. And yeah. I'd make a completely stone brick and like smooth stone slabs, but like this room is gonna be big enough. I still have to like repeat this over here. It's already kind of repeated over here. I just need to make another row of these platforms in that ring. It's like way over. It's like 70, 80 percent done. And then I'm gonna do that. Uh, it's gonna eventually have this option to turn off the lights. These canals go one deeper, like they're supposed to be like this, so they can't jump out again. I'm gonna make lights above these torches on uh, ev ev every block. I'm gonna use dispensers for that, so again, I'm gonna need the spawner um, for that. Especially, I'm not gonna add a light switch right away because I need that uh, string really badly for my potion room, which is something else I'll probably start today as well after I get this working. This is going to take a while, and yep, it ran into my stronghold, which is pretty funny, I thought. There's probably slimes down there, yep. If you're wondering why I'm using my store, it's because it's got looting. And... Like, I have, like, almost a stack of slime balls, and a stack of slime balls last me for a very long time. Because I don't use sticky- I only use sticky pistons for doors, so. Of 
crap. We're gonna need a lot of smooth stone for down here. I did some mining. I forgot, like, another nine diamonds. And I made two pickaxes. Twice in a row. Went enchanted. Came back. And I got, um... This. Twice in a row. On, on the picks. I got, like... I call them god picks. Because I used to, like... That's what I, I call it. It's not really, it's just like a good pick. But, uh, yeah. Look at that, I just used I just used it on all that coal. And it didn't even go down durability. That is awesome. I hate how there's dirt underground. There's a lot of gravel, actually, whenever I make this thing. There's always gravel everywhere. So I'm gonna go finish this up, and I'll come back when I am working on doing all these stupid water canals. When I, when it's like done, the room's all smooth stone. And yep, so I'll be right back. <laughs> all right, I'm like done here. Um, yeah. Um, one second. I have, oh, that's cool, finished the room, hooray, I fell in a hole, that's okay, because I have to go around and do this now, for part of the water streams, <coughs> so I don't know if you guys know how to, that doesn't go there, if, if you know how these types of spawners work, um, it's like, mobs spawn in the darkness, so if you make a really big, like, room like this, and it's set up for mobs to spawn in the darkness, like they do in, like, caves, pretty much they'll spawn here instead, and then you can process them, because it'd be a lot harder to process them out of a cave. Um, like, this room's gonna be completely pitch black when it's done. I just need to put the water in and remove the torches. I have to make this, uh, big water tube that goes up the center as well. Um, yeah. This is helpful for gunpowder, mainly is what the main, uh... That was a lot of stuff, it was mainly why I'm using it. Oh, okay, that's not even Yeah, um, I was taking this out, and then I realized, like, I could hear my skeletons over here. And they're just right in here. And there goes that pick. Okay, we don't have to use much of this pick on this, so... Well, that's the cool thing. Cycle that. Because we need a ridiculous amount of this stuff for everything. Yay. By the way, if you guys have anything that you want to see done, like a tutorial, like if you want someone, if you need help making something, like <clears throat> if it's something with redstone, you have, like if you have a redstone idea or something. Then, uh, if you let me know, I'll help. I can, uh, make a tutorial on it. Yeah. Got some more slime balls. In. In, in, in. That's all we can fit in there. Let's take that out. Let's put that in. to smelt my iron. We'll take these. I need to take all my iron. Okay, well, I have iron, so I don't really need that now, do I? Oh, man. That can go in there, too. That can't. Alright. Um, 
so let's buckets. We need a bunch of wood for signs. Uh, let's refresh my stake. There we go. Oh, that stakes from running around and killing cows in the, in the night and the daytime. Whenever I see them, really. My skeleton spawn room that's down there. Um, there's like a half slab that they go on so they can barely see out. And they're like shooting arrows out of it when you walk in the room. It's really funny. They're like turrets. You don't belong in here. I'm gonna get wool from these guys soon. Actually, I might just start collecting white wool. I probably have a pair of shears lying around somewhere about. They grow back their wool fairly quick, too. How many buckets should we make? About seven. That should be good, because I'm going to need a pickaxe. No, I'm going to need stairs, a pickaxe, and water, so one of those buckets wasn't really necessary. Back into the big stone house. Alright, that's what I can do. I'm gonna do that in a sec. Whoa! That's getting full. That's getting full. Stick a little smooth stone here. We're probably gonna need some for when we're digging around. Actually, we're gonna need like that much. I really should more make more exits, but I might make one in the back. And that'll be it. Let's just run around and collect some wood real quick. If you need like a stack, should probably do it. I might need more. Shovel powers. I've actually been thinking of ideas for a uh, tree farm. You know, they're not completely necessary. Like, you can just plant them and run around and cut them in the forest. Like, this isn't that bad. But it's just cool having a tree farm. I think I might actually stick to this. This is better. That, was, that looked weird from my perspective. If you're wondering why I'm breaking that top block, it's because on the Xbox, sometimes the trees don't fully degrade, and you need to, like, update it again before it starts degrading. So if you break a block, like one block on it, it updates all, like, the leaves, and it works again. It's, it's, it happens a lot, so I just break it just in case. I probably have, like, almost a stack now. I don't know exactly how many signs this is gonna take. I know it takes a fair bit, and when I I've made this thing like three times, this is the third time I've been make I've made it. Every single time it like takes for ever because like you couldn't stack signs, but now you could. Before you'd have to go down there like once or twice with a f like twi two or three times with a full inventory to actually get anywhere. Full stack would be nice. <sighs> Let's try this. See how many signs this gets us. But may or may not be enough. That might be actually just about right. Sorting in itself is a game. There we go. Done. Ah, buckets. Okay. I shouldn't need a sword while I'm down there. I might need the rare food. Buckets right here. Let's go grab some water. Oh, 
I'll show you. I'll do like one quarter of it, just so you see what's going on, and then I'll cut it and do the rest. Didn't we make seven buckets? Well, that is weird. All right. Oh, right, the stairs. <sighs> Whoa. Okay, this game is weirding me out right now. Okay. Stairs, stairs. I guess we can use stone brick. We're fancy. Whoa, we're supposed to be a workbench there. I'll fix that. And that's good enough. Go in there. Okay. Down we go. Well, that was a fail. I tried to jump, but it didn't work. Okay. So I like to start from the back corner. And all I do is that. Then when it gets here, I cut this. And then it pours all the way down there. Yeah, okay, that seems about right. And then... Oh, God. Oh, come on. This is going to take forever if this keeps happening. Okay. I broke it like that, so... Urgh, push! I'm going to have to come in here and light up this entire... Like, there's so many caves like in my area that I didn't I was just too lazy to go caving in I'll do that sometime okay pretty sure I just opened a door by block updating it okay now being where we are we do this Yes, this is looking right. And now that we know where the stairs are going to end up, we can do it here too. And dig it out. I believe the water starts to fall, like, right... Okay, it's two blocks before. Not going to worry about too much for the stone bricks there. Like, you're not even going to see it much, really. I'm probably going to have a lookout room. Even then, you'll barely see it. I'm going to put this here because I kind of feel like I'm wrong about this. But yeah, but how I do this is like corner by corner. And then I, I make like a ring and it slowly makes its way to the inside. So that way uh, you don't get like trapped and stuff. I have to make an infinite spring over here. Good enough. Okay. Now that it's here, I think what I did was I placed one there and one there. Yep. And that's like one wall done. Now I have to do that like a couple times around. This isn't that long. Okay, I'll be back. Actually. No, I don't want to do the middle yet because like the, all, the, all the corner currents and stuff kind of just determine what's going to happen. We can do this right now though. Because I know that's supposed to be like that. We need more water. Whoa, there goes the controller. Um, I didn't put any of my batteries. Yeah, okay, I'll be back. 
We're back, and the entire spawner is done. Um. Yep, this is where they come up in here, and they go up in that lava. Now, um, with the space allocated, there's not really, it'd be too hard to get the spiders to die easily, so what I've done is I just put that there. So basically when they die, or like, you keep this closed all the time, I'm gonna put glass here, I think. I'm gonna put gla glass <laughs> on both spots so you can see what's going on in there. And uh, you just open it up when you want your drop. Because if not, the spiders you can just walk in here, like, whatever they want. So, yeah. Let's go get some glass. It's not working well at the moment, mainly because it's nighttime, but also I haven't really done much caving, so. Just throw all my random blocks in here. I have to die these guys. I lost a sheep. A oh, fuck. I mean, uh wolf must have gotten down there. There's a zombie behind me. What? Trippy. Oh, he's right there. Okay. That makes more sense. Found iron. Of course we have no way to go to this hole. Make a way out of that hole. Oh, no way! It's okay, the house is in perfect condition. I'm just mainly looking forward to the Enderman over there. Spider, go away. Oh, he would teleport. Oh, wait, he's right. Okay. Well, things that sucked about what just happened is how he uh, died from fall damage. <sighs> I didn't actually get him to hit him with my sword, so we didn't even get a single ender pearl now. And that's pretty awesome. I'm not going to do anything about that. <laughs> Okay. Pick up drops. Close. Open. Actually, here's my other idea. Glad everything is waterproof in this room. Well, this isn't normal. Damn it. I'm just trying to get rid of the frickin' water, really. Okay. Genius. Damn it. <laughs> that sucks. Okay. You gotta be really careful. So pretty much what I just put in there was pointless. It just broke itself. 
break. No! All that redstone down there is like ruined. It's done now. Voila. Yeah. And it's the spiders, how they're gonna work. They come up, they can track you through walls. So, uh, they're gonna be... If you're not in this general area, the thing that sucks is they're gonna be trying to go after you unless they're tracking you. Like, if they're not tracking you, then you'll be fine, but if they are, they're gonna be really annoying. So, yeah. That's the only thing that sucks about that. I'm gonna build a potion room up top of here. Probably kill this dude. I need to make another entrance. Somewhere, because that like, front door thing is really annoying. But no, we can still use glass anyways, because I'd like to see what's going on in there. Um. Sure, that's good enough. Just shove that in there, and that in there. And that in there. Cool! Oh, if you're wondering how that works, is like, when a mob's in the water, they're always trying to, like, jump to get out of it. So when they're holding A, like, jumping in the water, when they get to the lava, they end up jumping up, and, like, the lava's a fluid, so they, they, they're, like, swimming up into the lava, and they just die. I really want to get a spider in here. that is mobs can like snipe you out of there. So I guess if you're gonna stand AFK you'd have to stand like this. You could put yourself in a glass container and have like water come by and just pour everything into like where you're standing. Yeah. So that's what I did today. It was fun. Let's put that glass on. You can even see in there and see what's going on. Oh, that's a painful. Painful. It's a little taller. Come on. Okay, close enough. Okay, now we are done it. I've compensated for the spider. Um, we'll just sit here and wait for the spider to come along whenever that happens. Anytime. Anytime. But I think it's really cool, it just fits in there, it's just there. Yeah. Oh, cool. Perfect timing. 
tracking us. He's gonna climb the wall as slowly as he may be dying. See that? Quality. Got another one. Look at that, it's one bow already. Alright, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.